Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, hopefully you watched the other one, but if you didn't, this is an equipment update, and this one is specifically talking about my new 50B3OG, which is, um, and I just said this in the other video, it's a uh, Broder's Open Wrap um, Gold Bell Bach Bass Trombone. Um, I bought this because I want a new instrument for a backup bass trombone. Um, it's kind of weird that I want a, just another bass trombone as a backup, but I play enough that if like my horn goes down and I need something else to play, I'd rather not have to borrow something or play something totally different. Um, a, lot my, a lot of my reasoning is I use my friend's 112H, Con 112H at Disneyland, which honestly sounds pretty good and is pretty easy to play. Um, I kind of like that instrument, but with earplugs in, I have no idea what I'm doing at any time. Um, it's actually kind of aggravating. Um, even yesterday, I've played it so much in the park, and I was I was playing, and I was just like, is any of <laughs> is any of what I'm doing coming out of the bell? I have no idea. And so I actually took my earplugs out for two sets that day, just to find out. And I was like, oh. My articulations are coming out, the sound is coming out, I'm playing way louder than I think I am. I just, something about how the, it's a 10 inch bell, it's red brass, and it's really close um, to my face. It's very similar to my old um, Holton TR-180 in that I just had no idea what was coming out of the bell. Um, and, you know, that's okay to a point, because I don't, if I know it's coming out, I don't really need to hear it every time. Um, but that horn also plays just differently enough from my regular bass that's kind of not worth it getting so used to a different instrument. So I've been on the lookout for a Bach that I could use at work instead of my regular horn because I don't want to use that either. And this came up and it's pretty cheap. Um, it has independent valves, which I need. I cannot go back to independent at this point. Um, and it's Bach. That's kind of the only <laughs> other thing that I wanted. Um, and it's been worked on, it's been, I guess, refurbished to a point. Um, it doesn't look like it's really been beat up. The case it came in is the most beat up case I've ever seen. I actually just threw it away right away because it was trashed. Um, I don't think that was the case it was in before. Anyway, let's go over this horn. So I have my mouthpiece in it like usual, but let's check out this lead pipe. So first things first, this is pretty common in boxes. This mouthpiece should go into about there, but it goes in until there, uh, like almost past the point of this thing. So it should go into here. It goes way past, and that's pretty common. It, it also wobbles a little bit. Um, it's really easy to ream these um, lead pipes out by just jamming mouthpieces in, screwing them in, and it's obviously happened to this one. And usually that means it's not going to play very well because the mouthpiece is in the wrong place. It should be sitting, you know, it should go in three quarters of an inch is the actual depth. And obviously it does not. So there's where we start. Um, tubes are actually in pretty good shape. The slide's definitely not a 10 out of 10, but it is smooth. And then it has what I think is an Edwards nickel crook. Um, the spit valve looks like an Edwards, so that's, that's my guess. Um, should be a Bach yellow crook. I'm okay with the nickel crook. I want it to be nickel. Just another surprise, nice, I didn't know that. Um, still has the over sleeves on the slide, which I like. The lock nut for the slide has been completely worn down. Um, this should have little uh, knurling on it, um, the little lines that kind of give it texture. There's just zero, nothing, nothing at all. It's completely smooth, I've never seen that before. No paddle on the G5 valve which actually isn't a big deal for me. My The 112H doesn't have that either, and I'm totally used to that. Um, the linkage has been redone with these like um, hobby linkages. You can get these for like RC cars and stuff. Um, not super awesome, uh, but not terrible. The rotors themselves are okay. The F valve is fast. The G5 valve is not especially fast. And part of that is this tiny little spring um, is the only thing that's returning that valve. So if the valve is just a little slow, that's gonna have a big problem with it. I might replace that. This has obviously been re-put together at some point. Um, we'll see how that holds up. I'm not sure if it's gonna be great. Um, there's a lot of buffing that's been done to like the valve section and the bell. So stuff has been taken apart, put back together. 
Um, some of the valve tubing is kind of beat up, um, but it doesn't look bad. The, I don't think these are completely stock because I don't think the F slide on this stock horn has ferrules right here. I think it's just one piece of tubing, um, kind of like this one. So um, maybe this is a very early design of it. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, something that's odd to me is that the valve tuning all the way in is very, very, very sharp. That's the F valve, it should be an F. It's this one, it's the other one. I have to pull out. It's still sharp. I pulled out more than an inch. Let's try like almost two. There we go. Pulled out super, super far to get that in tune. And then this is still super sharp. I think it's already, no, it's not pulled out. Pull it out a little bit. I'm trying to think. So combine those should be a D. It's still really sharp. Pull that out almost all the way. And now it's in tune. So these are weirdly tuned in that they're super, super, super sharp when they're pushed in. It's something I'm gonna have to deal with because this only goes until there and in tune is like right there. So just a odd, an odd thing. I'm gonna have to find something that like keeps this from falling out. I'm not really sure what that's all about. And it's weird because pushed in, this is still not a note. This is not like flat G or G. It's not a different tuning, it's just not in tune. So strange there. Um, the tuning slide has not been cut. I'll probably have to have that cut because it's probably too long right now to play if it's cold. Um, some of you guys have tuners right now and you're going, oh my God, you're flat or something. That's probably why. And also the bell is a little bit sad. Um, you see how close it is to the slide right here. Um, it's not because anything has been completely put out of alignment. Um, it's because whoever put this back together did not put the bell far enough away from the slide because these braces come apart, right? Um, this just kind of fits into this like a socket. And if you put it too far on, then the bell is going to be angled down a little bit. And it actually shows because the tuning slide is completely out of alignment. Um, because the uh, the legs are being forced in by the bell pointing that way. So things are not perfect with this, but it was very cheap. Um, it actually plays reasonably well. Honestly, this is one of the best stock box that I can remember playing. I feel like I've played brand new ones at shows that did not have a blow like this or a sound like this. I'm not gonna play too much because some of the windows are open. And even with my big old uh, Greg Black 1G, this feels centered. It feels like it has a good sound immediately. Um, the rotors are stock, but they don't blow that badly. There doesn't seem to be any huge problems with this. I'm really excited for this instrument. Of course, tomorrow I go to work and I play third drum. I'm going to play my 3B. So I don't get to use this right away, uh, but you guys will definitely uh, be kept in the loop and we'll find out how this ends up. Um, and if I don't like it, then I'll sell it and someone's going to get a pretty gosh darn like performance ready Bach with a gold bell. Um, I should point out that this has three things that I don't like about bass trombones and that's a gold bell. I play yellow bells and all my other stuff that I like to play. It has stock Bach rotors. Don't really like those. Um, never had a horn that I just like played really well with them. And it has a stock box slide. And I've gone through like I don't know, seven or eight stock box slides and never found one that I really liked. And somehow all of these things in combination make this horn that's actually kind of good. So we'll find out how good it is. First impressions are good. Who knows what the trial by fire will be. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed some new equipment content.